Welcome to the Great Garment Graphics video training series. In this session we are going to use the vectorize tool in CADWorksLive.com. We are going to convert a picture, a JPEG, into a vector art or line art. Now let's go over to the software. Once you log on to CADWorksLive.com, this will be your home page. For this session we are going to convert a picture into vector art or line art. We want to select Create a Design. And in Create a Design, you'll notice there's an option to import a file. This is for an SVG file only. For this session, we are going to import a JPEG. So we want to select Vectorize. And in Vectorize, you'll see the different uh, file types that you can import, such as a JPEG, GIF, TIFF, Bitmap. You do this by going to select your file here and click on browse. And that way you can import something from your hard drive. As you can see I already have some images already imported. So we're going to select an image and click on next. And this page here it asks you to click on the background color to eliminate that color. In this case it's just white. But we'll select next. Now this page here is asking you to pick three foreground colors. So I'm going to select the dragon. And I'll select the kanji and the sun. So I got my three foreground colors. Now this page here allows you to adjust the image by changing the value of the region resolution or the fit to curve. There's instructions on top explaining each function. And it looks pretty good, so we're going to just select finish. And there is my vector art. Now we're ready to send it to the cutting software. So at the bottom you'll see output and you can select send a vector cut. And there's our cutting software. I'll just have to reposition it here so you can see it on the screen. And we're going to go to View Fit Object so you can see a little bit better. But there's our three color design. In Vector Cut, we cut by color. And we'll select the kanji, the dragon, and the sun. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we selected the proper cutter. In this case, it's the Roland GX24. We're going to mirror our object. Also on this page here allows you to put the material, size of the material in here. So if you want to cut by color, we're going to select the first color, which is the dragon. And for this session, we'll put a value of 10 copies in here. So there's our 10 dragons. We'll put that color material into our cutter. And we'll select send to cutter. And we'll cut the dragon. Then we'll go to our next color. In this case, the kanji. Now you notice that it positions it in the middle of the material. So to move it, we're just going to select Auto Origin. It'll move it to the left side. Our 10 copies. We'll change the color of the material in the cutter. And then send the cutter. On our third color, we'll select the sun. And you'll notice with the sun here, it has a lot of detail to it. Which means that if you heat apply it to the garment, you're going to have to register it with the other colors. If you don't want to do this here, that's no problem. Just don't send this to your cutter. <clears throat> we'll go out of our vector cut. 
and back to our software program and we're going to create the sun so we're going to go new from scratch add auto shape double click on auto shape double click on circle and we're going to select a circle I'm going to change the size of this I believe it was 7.35 and we're going to send that over to our cutting software again I'll reposition it and once again we're in our cutting software here being a circle you really don't have to mirror the design but when we give it a value of 10 copies you can see there's going to be a lot of wasted material with this particular design I can change the size of the sun and not really change the integrity of the design obviously you want to check with the customer first but if I change the size on that from 7.35 to 6.8 you'll see I'll be able to maximize the use of that material so I change the color of the material in the cutter again and I can send that to cutter and I have my three color job you want to play around with it make sure it works for you and if you have any questions you can always give us a call If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. Also check for a Great Carmen Graphics Seminar in your area.